Hey everyone, NVK here. Uh, I just wanted to talk about an issue I've seen some people run into, um, and this pertains to folder items and the new uh, hidden collapse track mode in Reaper 7. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, it's just in the Reaper settings here. Um, so they've added an option for how folders get collapsed. And this is the default, which is normal, small, and collapse. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So this is this is small, and then uh, this is collapsed. So with folder items, this doesn't really cause any problems. Um, if you have folder items running, which I do now, and, and you have auto select enabled, when I click on this, it will select all the items, even if they're not grouped, and you can move them around just fine. Um, and all the other functions work. Um, there isn't any issues with that. So if we enable this new setting, uh, which is hidden, um, and I'll just go to normal hidden, which gives it just two different modes. Now, uh, when I collapse it, the tracks go away completely. And uh, the reason this is a problem is because of the way Reaper treats hidden tracks. So when a track is hidden in Reaper, as far as um, most functions in Reaper are concerned, none of the items on that track exist and the tracks don't exist. So you'll see, if I try to move this folder item, I can't move it. Um, and that's because the items below here aren't actually being moved. Now, the way to fix this is to group the items. This is one way to fix it. And I'll, I'll show a, possibly a better solution later on. Um, but the way to fix this is to group the items. And so that's why I've added mouse modifiers that do that automatically. So if you go into folder item settings again and click on mouse modifiers, um, there's a couple uh, mouse modifiers here you can add. So if you hit apply here, this will make it so that when you double click on a item or on a track, it collapses the item and then it also groups it. And I can click on the track here as well. And with that enabled, now I can move the item. However, you have to have certain settings enabled for this to work. So this is the, the groups button here. If I right click on this, you can see some options here. So it's enabled, which you definitely need that enabled. And then there's also this option for selecting one item selects group. So you're gonna want that enabled as well. Um, because with that enabled, now when I select this group, it actually selects the items, even though they're completely hidden to every other function in Reaper. So you can still move stuff and that works fine. Now, <laughs> there's also another caveat with this, which is copying doesn't work now with those items. So I'm gonna uh, go use control C here to do a copy. And now when I paste, you'll notice it, it copied the folder item. It appeared for like half, not even a second. And then it just went away because there's actually no items there. Um, so copy and paste doesn't work with this. And the reason why is because as I explained earlier, these items are hidden to Reaper. So they do exist in the project, but Reaper excludes them from things like copy and paste and selection, you can't select them. For most workflows, this might not be an issue, but when you're using folder items, you kind of have this expectation that your folder item will be controlling the items there. And in a way it negates the need um, for these kind of protections because you you can see your items are there and selectable because of the folder items. So um, how do we fix this? Well, um, one way is to create custom copy and paste actions um, or possibly just a, cu a custom copy and cut actions. I'll probably make them all. Um, so I'm planning to do that in the future if people really want to use this. Um, 
But the other way would be to modify your theme. And this is what I've been doing since Reaper 6 before they had this feature um, is just doing a slight theme modification. And basically what it does is when the tracks are collapsed, not hidden, it will um, it, it will make the tracks a height of zero. And so you uh, can't see them being displayed. So it's basically the same thing, except stuff still works. And so the way to fix this is to go into your Reaper resource path. And we're going to go into color themes. And now select the theme that you're using. So I'll use the default one for this example. Um, but if you're using a different theme, just select your theme. Um, on Mac, this is a little bit annoying to do. Um, on Windows, it's a lot easier because you can directly edit zip files. But on Mac, what we're going to want to do is add a dot here and change this extension to use dot zip. So now we can open this and it extracts the files here. And we're going to want to go into this default seven unpacked folder. And it might be different for you. So I'm going to navigate to the RT config file. And in here, we're going to look for TCP heights. So these are basically heights for all the different track states. So um, I think I'm not, I guess I'm not exactly sure what they all are, um, but it goes from smallest to largest. And the one you want to edit is the smallest one. Um, so we're going to change that four to zero. Um, and I think it's talking about pixel heights possibly. So if we save this, um, now we're going to want to turn this back into a normal Reaper theme. Um, and the way to do that is to select it and then compress it. And it's going to make a zip file here. Um, and we can just drag that back into the main folder. At this point, you can get rid of these. Oh, and also I'd recommend uh, fixing the name on the theme that you edited so it still works. Okay. And now what we need to do is name this, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the important part is that it's called dot reaper theme zip on the end. So now if we double click this, it's going to use this theme instead. Let's go back into Reaper. So now um, let me open up the preferences and I'll go to the default option here. So now when you collapse it and it goes to the minimum collapse state, as you can see, all the tracks are hidden, but I can select this folder item still. I'd still recommend using the um, the grouping options, but this is there if you need it. And um, yeah, uh, everything works and copy and paste works and you still get the collapse tracks. So that's a solution you can use if if you really want the hidden tracks, which I understand that I, I also enjoy the hidden tracks. So um, I can see why you'd want that. Um, but this allows you to have them and also be able to use folder items the way you've been used to in the past. And uh, there's one last thing I want to show you, which is uh, something I added um, to make it work with not just the mouse modifiers. So, and this is an experimental setting, um, but you can try it if you want. Um, and it's called automatic item grouping. So what this does is it will automatically group your items when you collapse, um, collapse the tracks, even using the default uh, buttons in Reaper. So let me enable that. And it's going to warn you, you can no longer manually group items. So this might, and this is why this is an experimental feature. Maybe this is a problem for you. If you need to group items then I wouldn't use this, I would use the mouse modifiers, but if you don't, you can use this feature. And now when I collapse the track, you can see it groups the items for you. So that's another option too. Um, and uh, 
you don't need that unless you're making use of the hidden track lanes feature. Um, but it's there just to make it so that if you prefer this behavior of being able to use these buttons over being able to group items, it's an option. But as you can see here, if I try to group this, these items here, it just goes away um, immediately after I do it. So 